installment of Inside IU Volleyball with Sherry Dunbar. I'm Dave Leno exclusively for IUHoosiers.com. We're coming to you from Athletic Director Fred Glass's patio. And Coach, uh, I don't know how uh, he can do all the work that he does. He does nice work. Obviously, we see the big scoreboard out behind us, but uh, I wouldn't be filling out a lot of paperwork if I was <laughs> sitting here. I'd be getting my suntan lotion out and uh, sitting outside. But yeah, you can see behind us, that's a new $2 million scoreboard. I think as he called it, ginormous. Um, it's amazing. I saw it at the first football game when our team was introduced, and um, it's one of the best in the country, and it's one of the largest in the country. So we, we're really, really happy with it. How much do you communicate with the upper administration? Not only athletics director Fred Glass, but we also saw President Michael McRobby and his wife Lori out at a recent IU matchup. So how much do you talk with them about the program? Um, with Fred, we talk once a week. We have weekly meetings with um, Bill Lynch and Tom Crane and, and Felicia Jack and myself. And then monthly, we have head coaches meetings and we discuss all types of topics. Um, and then Janet Kittles, our associate athletic director, and I talk to her on a regular basis. And then it was fantastic to see the president and his wife come. That was their first volleyball match, and we're hoping to get them to come back for more. But they're, you know, especially Lori, she's a huge supporter of women's athletics. and. We just appreciate everything they do, and, and I think they're really buying into the 24 sports one team, and he's trying to get around to see all of the athletic teams, so that's fantastic. This past weekend, another tournament non-conference title in Lewiston and Buffalo, New York, and you played with a lot of different rotations, and what combination or what rotation stood out to you? Well, I think all of them have their positives and all of them have their negatives, just like any lineup, but you know what I thought was fantastic is we went up there and we played four matches which we usually don't do in a weekend and we won all of them in three sets which I was very happy with so we did what we should do when we were up there and I think we worked on some things that we really wanted to get better at and I felt like we improved as a team over the weekend. Ashley Benson was co-Big Ten Player of the Week for the third time. Jordan Haverly's another player who's really stepped up for you on the outside. Obviously, she's been increasing the velocity on her serve. She had 39 kills this past weekend, swing at 266 average for those four matches, and she's someone who you're going to count on when it comes to Big Ten play. Yeah, I think, you know, Ashley is such a phenomenal athlete and player that sometimes uh, people overlook the rest of our team a little bit just because she is such a the premises of an All-American and a great kid and everything. But you have someone like Jordan, and we would not be where we are today without her play. Um, she's a primary passer for us, a great defensive player, an aggressive server, and getting the second most kills um, on our team. But then you also have somebody like Kelsey Marshall, who really had a good weekend. Taylor Whitmer um, is one of the top blockers in the country right now. Um, Mary had a great weekend. Caitlin Cox, you know, and so they all have their roles they play. It's just, I think you hear Ashley's name all the time because she is such a great player, but we have a lot of players that are doing their jobs right now. After this quick break, we'll go to our satellite feed and chat with the three freshmen, Melanie Hicks, Caitlin Hansen, and Jade Henderson, live from Baltimore International Airport. Stay with us. IU's next home match is on Wednesday, September 22nd against in-state rival Purdue. It's a red out, so make sure you dress accordingly. And also, the game will be broadcast on the Big Ten Network. Students, it's free with an ID and adults, just a small fee to see all the action. Welcome back to Inside IU Volleyball with Sherry Dunbar, now joined by the three freshmen. From left to right, we have Melanie Hicks, Caitlin Hansen in the middle, and Jade Henderson on the right. So girls, here are a couple of questions for you so the public can get to know you a little bit better. What's your favorite class thus far? Um, my favorite class is psychology. I love my teacher. She just, even though it's an 8 a.m. class, she just makes it fun. Uh, mine's probably definitely biology, L112. Um, it's probably one of the most difficult ones, but it's the most interesting, definitely. Uh, mine's probably bowling, just because I do love to bowl, and it's a fun class, and it just gets some credit in. Bloomington is known for its top-notch food choices, so tell me, what's your favorite place to eat? Um, well, I think I can speak for all of us when I say we love noodles and company. Mm -hmm. We go there on the regular. So, yes. All together. <laughs> at least once a week. Maybe twice a week. Probably. We have our special table that we sit at, actually. They know us. <laughs> all right. Now, the guys are going to be out there taking notes right now. They have their pen and paper ready. <laughs> what's your ideal first date? Oh, you know, 
know, just walks on the <laughs> on the beach. You know, sunset, dinner. Yep. Um, mine's definitely having dinner outside somewhere. Um, maybe seeing a movie and just walking around campus. Um, mine would probably also be the typical dinner and a movie. Or I think I'd like to do a little picnic. That'd be fun. Romantic. Bloomington is known for its picturesque views on campus, so tell me what's your most memorable spot? Well, um, whenever I'm walking back to Foster from Valentine, it's just so beautiful walking through the Arboretum, and I just it's just gorgeous out everywhere. I'd also agree, I walk from Valentine to Foster frequently, but I also like the, when we're in the stadium and there's no one else in it, and we're just kind of standing at the top or like just in the field all by itself. It's really great. Um, the, my favorite building would probably be the Union just yeah. because there's a lot to do in the Union and I have a bowling class in there and I love, <laughs> love to bowl. So what's the sport you'd play aside from volleyball if that wasn't an option? Um, I'd say I'd swim if I didn't do volleyball just because I did it all through my life and I actually kind of miss it sometimes. But. So swimming. Um, I'd probably have basketball. That was another big sport I played in high school, and I just like basketball a lot. So. I would probably do dance because that's like my favorite thing to do other than play volleyball. So. All right, guys, finally to close, and arguably the most important question to end this discussion you know, why'd you pick IU? Why sport the cream and crimson? Um, I wanted to come to a school that I would love with or without volleyball and it just happens that I love the volleyball here too and I had the opportunity to play but I just love the campus and the atmosphere and it's just an amazing place. Well I'm originally a Hoosier so I definitely wanted to stay close to home and um, I definitely want to play something with really high competition and this is the best choice for me. I, um, I want to play at a big school and I was a lot to offer with majors and the campus is gorgeous. And I got, to, a lot to, I got to visit up here a lot since my sister goes here, so, yeah. Melanie, Caitlin, Jade, thanks for your time and continued success in 2010. Thank you. Thanks. thanks. Next up, the Hoosiers travel to Oxford, Ohio at 1 p.m. IU takes on DePaul in a primetime matchup at 7.30 p.m. against host Miami of Ohio. Welcome back to Inside IU Volleyball with Sherry Dunbar and Coach. We just got done talking with the three freshmen. Yet last year, you had a top 20 recruiting class, Jordan Haverly, Kelsey Marshall, Whitney Granado and company to highlight that. But these freshmen certainly aren't playing like freshmen. No, it's so great that they've come in and I think they weren't highly touted or anything. And, and you know, I don't think you can really judge how good freshmen are going to be just by saying they're a top 20 recruiting class. You know, I think that they all make impacts in their own ways, and ours have certainly made that impact on the floor. Um, Caitlin Hansen and Melanie Hicks are playing a tremendous amount. Jade Henderson earned the starting position uh, when we started with Georgia Tech, and then she got hurt during the match, but now she's starting to come back from that. So, you know, those three, not only just in their play, but they are fantastic kids. Um, that add a lot to our program with their personalities and their drive and practice and how competitive they are. You guys are trying to improve to 12-0 and in non-conference play. You have DePaul and then Miami of Ohio. And both those coaches know who you are, Coach Condit at Miami of Ohio, and, of course, Nadia Edwards, who was formerly a Big Ten assistant coach. Well, good or bad, Coach Condit has been at Miami of Ohio a long time, and, and I'm getting older. So she was there when I played at Ball State, so she remembers me as a player. And, of course, I've kept in contact with her over the last 20 years or so since then. Um, but she's done a fantastic job. She's built a great tradition there at Miami of Ohio and, and always has a really feisty defensive team, so I'm really excited to play them. And then DePaul out of Chicago, um, the coach there, Nadia Edwards, was an assistant at Ohio State and now has her own program, and I think she's going to do great things there. So we're excited for the competition this weekend. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of Inside IU Volleyball with Sherry Dunbar. On behalf of Coach Dunbar, Melanie Hicks, Jade Henderson, Caitlin Hansen, and the man behind the plan, Kyle Coleman, I'm Dave Leno. Best wishes, everyone.